How Nutrition Affects Your BMI There is a direct connection between nutrition and body weight. Your BMI aka, Body Mass Index is an indicator of healthy weight. Whether you are trying to lose, gain or maintain your weight, your daily nutrition should support your weight and health goals. Discover how nutrition can support a healthy BMI and promote a healthy weight. A healthy body weight depends on factors, such as, genes, sex, age, physical activity, diet, and more. If you want to lose or maintain a healthy weight, start with knowing your BMI. BMI is a reliable indicator to screen for weight categories that may lead to health problems. The first steps to determine if you have a healthy weight is by knowing your BMI. Once you know your BMI, you can use nutrition to help you reach a healthy weight goal. What is BMI? BMI is the calculation of your body weight in relation to your height. It does not differentiate between body fat and muscle mass. So more muscle mass will also have a higher BMI without the appearance of being overweight. Also, keep in mind that this formula uses weight and height only, so BMI is not a direct measure of body fatness. The formula used to calculate BMI for an adult person is Average of weight divided by height squared You can calculate your BMI by using a variety of online calculators. If your BMI is less than 18.5, it falls within the underweight range. A BMI between 18.5 to 25, is normal. A BMI between 25 to 30, is in the overweight range. A BMI of 30 or higher, falls in the obese range. Class 1 is low risk obesity, if BMI is 30 to 35. Class 2 is moderate risk obesity, if BMI is 35 to 39.9. Class 3 is high risk obesity, if BMI is equal to or greater than 40. If you fall into a high-risk category, talk to your doctor about how much weight you should lose. Counting Calories When energy intake is greater than energy expenditure, an increase in body fat is likely to occur. To lose weight you have to use more calories than you take in. To maintain, you have to match the calories you take in with those that you use. Based on your BMI, you can decide on the number of calories you need for your age and activity level. Making good nutrition choices and being active can help you reach either goal. Glucose versus Fat The body prefers energy in the form of glucose over fat. This is because it's the quickest and easiest route. Yet, sugar provides no nutrition, it's just empty calories. Burning energy from fat versus glucose can promote weight loss. To do this, reduce glycogen that are excess glucose stored in the liver and the muscle with a low-carb diet. Fats and Cholesterol Not all fats are equal. Some low-fat products have less calories, but may have more sugar, so low-fat doesn't make it healthier. Be aware when eating high-fat, or fatty foods such as butter, cheese and cream. The fats you do eat should be unsaturated or polyunsaturated fats. You should be eating the smallest amount of saturated and no trans fat. Fat is the most energy-dense nutrient and carries twice as many calories as carbohydrate. Fats are also very high in calories. So cutting down on total fat intake is helpful. Fruits and Vegetables Your diet should include the most nutritious food, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains and fat-free or low-fat dairy. Aim for at least 5 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Usually, the more colorful the fruit or vegetable, the more nutritious. For example, dark green spinach has more nutrients than light green iceberg lettuce. Whole grains and wheat. Choose whole grain cereal, pasta, rice, and bread. Many foods that claim to be whole wheat or whole grain are actually from white, processed flour. Always check the ingredients to see if whole wheat or whole grain is the first ingredient listed. Portion control. Eating 5 or 6 times a day can be a better way to lose weight than eating only 3 times a day. This only works, if you take care to control not only the calorie content but also the amount of food you're eating. The goal is to eat a small amount of food, like a cup of no-fat yogurt, for example, every 3 hours or so. Eat only enough so that you don't feel hungry, but never so much that you feel stuffed. If you don't know whether your BMI is healthy, then you should try using an online calculator or ask your doctor. You can also consult with a personal trainer at a local gym might also be able to measure it for you. For more information visit myamazingstory.com